गिवन क्वेश्चन टू ब्लॉक्स कनेक्टेड बाय होरिझोंटल रिजिड बार ए बी आर सपोर्टेड ऑन टू द प्लेन्स द कोइफिशंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन बिट्वीन ब्लॉक ए अँड होरिझोंटल सर्फेस इज झिरो पॉईंट थर्टी नाईन द लिमिटिंग अँगल ऑफ फ्रिक्शन बिट्वीन ब्लॉक बी अँड इन्क्लाइन प्लेन इज ट्वेंटी डिग्री वेट ऑफ ब्लॉक बी इज फाय न्यूटन फाइंड द स्मॉलेस्ट वेट डब्ल्यू ऑफ ब्लॉक ए फॉर विच इक्विलिब्रियम ऑफ द सिस्टीम कॅन एक्झिस्ट इन दिस क्वेश्चन टू ब्लॉक्स ए अँड बी आर कनेक्टेड विथ होरिझोंटल रिजिड बार इफ वी ऑब्झर्व द डायग्राम ब्लॉक बी हॅव्हिंग सम स्लोप अँड दिस स्लोप रेस्ट ऑन द फिक्स्ड इन्क्लाइन सरफेस we have to find out the weight w of the block a so that the whole system is in equilibrium now if we observe the horizontal bar is inextensible so force applied by the bar on the block that is the force applied by the bar is towards the block so we have to show this force as a c so magnitude is same but direction is opposite so force applied by bar on block a is towards the block a and we will say with letter c and in the same way for this horizontal bar force applied on block b is having same magnitude but opposite in direction that is c now this block b rest on the inclined plane so it's a tendency to move in the downward direction so we will show the motion of the block b so this is the direction of motion of block b but this block b and a connected with the rigid bar so as the block b move in the downward direction block a will move towards the left hand side so this is the motion but we have to find out the weight w so that this whole system will be in equilibrium position now we will draw the free body diagram for block a as well as block b now if we observe the block b weight of the block b is given phi newton and this weight will always act in vertically downward direction so here is phi newton then the force applied by the bar on block that is it is towards the block b so we will show the direction of the force and it is with letter c then there is the frictional force as this block b tend to move in the downward direction frictional force will we have to show in the upward direction that is in the opposite direction so this frictional force will be parallel to this inclined surface and this surface of the block b is also having parallel to the inclined surface and this surface rest on the inclined surface so we will show this with suffix 1 that is f1 now there is the normal reaction in between this fixed surface and block b and this normal reaction is perpendicular to the inclined surface so we will draw here one perpendicular line and this is normal reaction n1 now this if we extend this n1 then this is also passing through the center of the block this f1 as well as n1 so we will resolve these forces into two component one is horizontal and other is vertical so i will resolve here we will show direction also and for n1 we will show here vertical component and here is the horizontal component now how to decide its a value so if we observe this block a rest over horizontal line and this is the vertical line now i will make here one construction i will draw here one horizontal line and then the angle in between these two is 90 degree now angle in between this vertical line and inclined line is mentioned in the question 30 degree so this remaining angle is 60 degree now in the same way this f1 is parallel to this inclined surface so this f1 and this horizontal line is having angle 60 degree so how we can say this component it is f1 cos of 60 and this is f1 sin of 60 
Now we will find out the angle between N1 and one of the component. If we observe N1 is perpendicular to this inclined surface. Now this is the vertical surface and for vertical surface we have to draw here horizontal component. That means this horizontal component and vertical surface are perpendicular to each other. That means this N1 and this horizontal component are perpendicular to these two lines making an angle 30 degree. So these two lines also intersect at this point and here also the same angle and which is equal to 30 degrees. So how we can define this horizontal component? N1 cos of 30 and for the vertical component N1 sin of 30. Now we will consider the equilibrium of the block B. So when we consider then the limiting angle of limiting friction is given and it is 20 degrees. So we can say that coefficient of friction mu is equal to tan 20. So we have to refer here as a mu is equal to tan 20 because limiting angle is given. So for that coefficient of friction mu is equal to tan 20. And there is one relation in between F1 and N1. So we know that F1 divided by N1 is equal to mu. So we can say that F1 is equal to mu into N1. And if we put the value of mu then F1 is equal to N1 into tan 20. Now we will take summation of all vertical forces is equal to 0. Now if we observe here are the downward and upward direction forces. So for downward direction we will use negative sign. So we will take F1 sin 60 plus N1 sin 30 minus 5 is equal to 0. Now here is F1 we can write in terms of N1 that is N1 tan 20. So equation will become 0.5 N1 plus N1 tan 20 this sin 60 as it is and we will transfer 5 to the right hand side is equal to 5. So here only one unknown term N1 and therefore N1 is equal to 6.30 Newton. Now in the same way we can calculate F1. So here is the relation. So F1 is equal to 2.23 Newton. Now we will take summation of all horizontal forces is equal to 0. So direction of C is towards right hand side. So plus C plus F1 cos 60 minus N1 cos 30 is equal to 0. So how to find out C? So we will transfer these terms to the right hand side. So value of F1 is known 2.23 value of N1 is 6.13. So we will transfer to the right hand side so it will become minus f1 so how we can write here minus 2.23 cos of 60 and here minus will become plus n1 cos of 30 that is 6.13 6 cos of 30 so when we solve we will get the answer c is equal to 4.2 newton now we will draw the free body diagram for the block a so weight we have to find out and weight always acts in vertically downward direction passing through center. So this weight. Now there is the C that is the force applied by bar on this block AB. So we have to show here C. That is direction is opposite but magnitude is same. Then the motion of the block is towards left hand side. So we have to show frictional force in opposite direction and this time we will use here the suffix 2 that is F2. And we have to show normal reaction which is perpendicular to the fixed surface that is in vertical direction passing through the center. So here is N2. Now all the forces are in horizontal and vertical direction so no need to resolve any force. Now we will consider the equilibrium for this block A and summation of all horizontal forces is equal to 0. So which are the horizontal forces F2 and C which are opposite in direction. So value of C we have calculated. So F2 is equal to C which is equal to 4.2 Newton. Now there is one relation in between F2 and N2. F2 by that is law of friction F2 by N2 is equal to mu. And value of mu is given 0.39. So we can say that F2 is equal to 0.39 N2. And therefore N2 is equal to. Now value of F2 is also known 4.2. So 4.2 by 0.39 which is equal to 10.5 Newton. Now how to calculate W? So if we observe we can take summation of all vertical forces is equal to 0. 
so W is equal to N2 and N2 we have calculated and that is nothing but W which is equal to 10.5 Newton. So this is the force that is this is the weight required for the block A to keep the system in equilibrium position.